What's up, brothers? We are back at it. I have tested Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl, and this is my first impression tier list. As always, when it comes to tier list, I even say this for a game that's been out for a very long time. Take it with a little bit of grain of salt. Everyone have their own opinion. Uh, but this is my first impression based on testing all the characters. I will say I haven't even played against every single character. I've played against quite a few, but not all of them. I feel more than free try to prove me wrong on the characters I put low. Uh, let's get started. One character I think could be contender for best in the game is Leonardo. This character have so many amazing moves, insane range, super good character, I think. Uh, his up is a little bit sketch, I guess, sometimes, but honestly, it still has like a decent hitbox. But yeah, it, it will be hard, hard to get in against this character. Uh, very, very hard. And since air dashes, I think, will be very common to approach, having such good range could also be uh, huge for him. I think April could be up here as well. Aerial pose pose is a super good move. Stays out for a very long time. Fill up her microphone, which in itself literally turns into a Game of Watch 9 if you have it fully charged. Great recovery as well. You actually can like up B, uh, like hit out of up B, then up B again. You have like more recovery mix-ups I feel with April than like a lot of other characters. Strong punishes too. I feel like she, she may be up here. She may be up here. I think Aang possibly could be here as well and also like i might do some swaps like one tier or so like over the course of this video but yeah let's see uh yeah ang here as well a lot of amazing frame data on many moves his air ball was a really really funny move i think that one could be very good too uh moves super fast leads to a lot of combos so yeah i think ang may be up here as well then one of my favorite characters to play, probably my second favorite character to play so far. Actually, I actually probably will put him here. Yeah, just because he was one of my favorites, right? No, but actually, I think like uh, some of his uh, specials are not super good. His projectile is quite slow, for example. And his water gun, like you can sort of like jump cancel it, uh, but it's also not too good. But what does make him good, uh, a lot of his aerials have quite good reach. Like in Smash terms, like his... Nair slash fair, up air, uh, downer is good for spikes, like following people, like triple, quadruple spike or whatever. And his uh, his Nair, you can like link so many together into like uh, mid special or mid strong rather, mid strong, uh, kills very early. This, this character's punish game seems super strong when you know what you're doing. Uh, so yeah, his specials, is what probably keeps him away from S for me for now. But yeah, th this guy has some crazy punishes, trust me. This is a character I actually haven't played too much myself, I only tested a little bit, but she seems, she seems pretty good. I actually was messing around against all these characters, against CPUs as well, because I didn't really have access to like play too many actual matches uh, since the gameplay was prior to the official release. But this character, I, I don't know what it is, but this character kills absurdly early sometimes. Like, I died at like 40 sometimes. And I was even like, not even close to the edge. It was literally like almost center stage. And yeah, she could just kill super early sometimes. Uh, range is not like the best on some of the moves, but overall looks like a very, very solid character. Excited to see people test her out. I think Sim might be up here as well. His Nair equivalent is also super good. Uh, really good hitbox, combos into itself many times. Sometimes you can carry people literally uh, from you know the stage all the way to the blast zone by just chasing with Nairs. Super, super good move. Uh, interesting projectiles as well, especially the one where it like stays out and like uh, it's giving like sparks. I think that one could be really good to like uh, how do you say, close out, close off areas from the opponents, putting it close to uh, the edge. I mean, you can like hit it and stuff, but if you commit to hitting, then you leave Sim an opening to like punish you. So I think, I think this character will probably be kind of hard to play, but he, he looks pretty good. He looks pretty good. Cat dog around here as well. Uh, good range, good combos. Projectiles seemed a little bit lacking, uh, but yeah. Great range and combos in particular, so I think Catdog might be around here. 
after that, like, this probably is my favorite character so far. She has insane combos as well. Trust me on that. Her Nair is out of this world. <laughs> Sometimes you can connect, like, especially against bigger characters, you can connect, like, 10 Nairs in a row. It literally automatically combos into itself. It does require a little bit of, like, pre precision sometimes. Uh, they can easily go on the other side of you if you, like, overshoot it even, you know, a little, little bit too much. Uh, but I think once people get really good at using the Nair, that move is going to be so good for combos. Downer is pretty weak in terms of, like, raw strength. But that means you also a little bit, like, Lincoln loud, but way better. Can, like, just combo downer, 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 kill them at the bottom and make it back. Uh, super, super strong punishes. And at, like, mid percentage, you actually can, like, downer. They fall so slow and then, like, send them back up with up air. Uh, to like continue the combo issue with like honestly quite a lot of characters I think uh, could be projectiles like how will they actually end up working out in this game since we know like you can grab projectiles and you can like hit projectiles back right so I think some characters in this roster could suffer from like projectiles ending up being way way worse uh, th that's honestly the main reason because the Blina has quite a few projectiles and I'm not sure how they will actually match up once people get used to like playing around projectiles. She also has like no range pretty much so that's a bit scary that's a bit scary but still seems like pretty good potential if you ask me. I think Danny could be around here uh, also like strong punishes strong punishes and fast. He seems to be having a little bit of an annoying recovery I guess uh, the analog versus digital makes like he has like a chic esque up B, but like with less angles available. So that's a bit annoying. His projectile also seems very slow. Maybe there was something I missed around it because I mean, I obviously haven't spent a ton of time playing each character. But yeah, his project projectile and recovery seemed a bit weak. But yeah, a lot of really fast moves and interesting punishes. Uh, overall, this game has very strong punish game. So. I think that's cool. I think SpongeBob might be around here. Feels overall very basic. I mean, in a sense, I, I guess he's like the Mario of this game, not only because he's arguably the most iconic character in the game, I guess, but also he feels like an easy character to pick up. A lot of stuff just works. A lot of things is pretty good, but stand out as like absolutely crazy. Uh, but yeah, he, he seems like he's pretty solid in our, all areas. So Spongebob, probably like around uh, mid. Uh, I think Toastman could be around here. Uh, his shine, very interesting. Wave crust or whatever people have started calling it. Uh, seems to be a lot of potential there. Uh, I actually noticed that like shine, jump strong. If you catch people with the wrong DI, that can sometimes literally kill like close to 0% by the ledge. So that's scary. Of course, hitting shine is not always going to be the easiest. It's going to be harder than this for like, let's say, spaces in Smash. But it's still like a really good move. And he has like a lot of strong moves and can kill early. He is a very big target though. And that traditionally isn't too good in fighting games. Toph maybe? This is one of my less played characters, I guess. But this character, you you can't you can't edge guard Toph. Once you're off stage, you have access to like one platform that you can just make out of like nothing. So uh, it helps you a lot for recovery purpose. Uh, you have to land on the stage again though to do it again. So it's not like you can like camp super high up in the air or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, it makes edge guarding basically <laughs> impossible, it feels like. Uh, F smash is like super, super long range. Uh, probably gonna be very strong to use like under platforms. Gonna be hard to like punish it at all, it feels like. But yeah, a lot of like quite a bit of question marks here. Uh, Reptar might be around here as well. He looks very cool. Like, his down B, like, when you charge it, gives, like, 30%, covers a lot, a lot of space. But it takes quite a bit of time to charge it to get, like, the super long hitbox. In general, like, a little bit like Toastman, like, a very big target. He's a, he isn't, like, that fast, relatively speaking, either. And eventually those characters, I feel like, always, like, end up a bit on the lower end. But I do think Reptar is cool. I, I hope I'm wrong and he en ends up being a bit higher. Because I did like his moveset. I actually feel a bit bad putting Helga. Actually, I'm not sure. Helga is also like a huge 
huge question mark. The thing is like, I like this character. I did play Helga quite a bit. And the reason I put her this low is honestly mainly the projectile part we talked about earlier. Her projectile, like when you hit your opponent, uh, it sends them towards you instead. So if you do land even one of these projectiles at like 70 or 80, your opponent is basically dead. Uh, she has a lot of strong moves. So I, and I, I love that design of the projectile that it actually like takes you to her, but it just travels very slow. And even though you can like angle it a little bit upwards and stuff, yeah, it travels slow and doesn't come out too fast either. So I just have a hard time seeing how to land this move when you have distance to your opponent. Because if you're too close, you're not really gonna be able to get a follow up. So you need distance in order to like get a kill from the projectile but the projectiles overall in this game seem so nerfed so yeah i think i think that will hurt her but a lot of a lot of strong moves so maybe killing won't be too bad anyway michael Andrew might be around here uh i don't know he just didn't seem to impress me nearly as much as leonardo uh i mean overall worse like worse range his pizza projectile seemed very bad overall but um, I mean, overall, still a very solid character. Overall, a very solid character. Uh, he had like one of these, like one very cool move where you're like traveling in your shell. That move could be pretty good, I think. Patrick, I'm sorry. <laughs> you felt like the worst character to me when I did play Patrick. He didn't seem to have anything crazy at all going. He had like Bowser's side. Uh, I mean, I guess that could be good with a good read, but he was very slow. He seemed to have like the worst punishes in the game. Yeah, I, I don't know. That that's normally a, a bad sign. Slow and bad punishes. So I, I guess like the Bowser side and like his like one of his strong moves when he was like spinning around. It was like long lasting. So that felt like a good move, but overall I think this character will struggle. Not too much range either. So yeah, not not too much range. Slow. Yeah. I'm sorry, Patrick. You feel like the worst character. Uh, Ren Stimpy also didn't seem to have anything like super outstanding to me. Seemed fairly basic overall. So yeah, didn't, didn't really impress me. Didn't impress me. Sandy, quite a few good moves, but honestly, like a lot of these things we have talked about, I just feel like Sandy lacked a little bit more than some of the characters. Not necessarily being bad. Maybe top of B tier would be more fair, but I don't know. I guess C tier for now. Recovery was also a bit lacking, uh, unless it was something I was overlooking. Uh, Nigel also felt quite basic. Uh, hopefully the rest won't down the line be an issue. Uh, but for now, didn't seem, yeah, too impressive. Korra honestly probably will be a lot higher than these last characters we ranked. I don't know, This I haven't really tested Korra much. So th this is also like one of the bigger question marks, I guess. But then I'll probably put her here, here actually. Like, she she did seem to have like quite a lot of good moves. So, yeah. B big question mark though. I know some of the characters on the list I talked more about, some less. Uh, like, s some of them like I did play as or against more. Whether I ended up ranking them high or low. I, I know it's not the most in detail on a few characters in particular. Uh, but I mean, I hope you guys still enjoyed getting to see my first impression tier list uh it's gonna be fun to look back maybe we can look back at this like a month or two or something from now when things are a little bit more not settled but a little bit more clear ideas but yeah please let me know in the comments below what do you guys think will be the best characters in this game and also once you actually have gotten the chance to play the game please let me know what characters you think i'm the most wrong about thanks for watching take it easy and see you all in the next video